and welcome to my daily vlog of life on a beef and arable farm. Um, we got a lot more new subscribers from yesterday. Could it possibly be to do with Tom Pemberton's video? I think so. So if we've got some new subscribers, let us know where you're from and let us know if you're a new subscriber or an old subscriber. Business. Andy's on going around with a straw blower. My dad's just going around feeding the cattle with the TM. Say hello to Andy in a minute because I think he's got some new wellies on. The man who said he didn't want some posh wellies, you'll find out what he's got. Well, this is a straw blower. We use it every single morning to bed the cows down. Or cattle, should I say. So we straw these guys up every single day. Very inquisitive. A lot of them are having in Angus. Um, so friendly, like he'll come and eat your mad boat and check um, so Yeah, we're doing it little and often, every single day. So it keeps them happy, keeps them clean, keeps them healthy. Because at the end of the day, if they're not healthy, if they're not happy, they're not going to put weight on, they're not going to produce meat, beef, and we don't get paid. So it's absolutely crucial that cattle and animals are kept healthy and happy. Because What season you've got on then, Andy? New boots. New boots? What, are they muck boots or something? Yeah. Are they? Dirty old trampy boots. <laughs> Dirty old trampy Lushamu boots. Oh, he's moving it away because he's, he's... Look at that, what a posh farmer he is now, eh? New overalls, new boots, new hat. Oh, it's on it. Yeah, Andy loves it. Loves his new boots. By the way, I love helicopters. Business. Not sure how many subscribers or views or whatever you need to have an helicopter, but if you keep watching, you'll find out. <laughs> if I get there, I'll get one. I don't spend it on cows and tractors, that is. And we've got one eating my coat. Thanks, fella. You are looking nicely bedded up in there. You rascal. Just in here now, we're gonna get the last Hereford that we missed yesterday out. Um, so I'm gonna be busy taking these guys in in a minute, I think. Or well, might be this afternoon, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to look at the time sheet. Oh, and you nearly stalled then. It's getting hard to push in this muck. We'll have to muck these guys out soon. This is a front of Penny, it gets really mucky at the front. And he's going to blow a lot of straw at the back and he's going to bring another bale from here. He's going to blow it over the top again. Extra bales in today. It's the straw party. See plenty of ventilation in these sheds. We even took the roof tops off here so we can get the airflow through. So I'm off now. In the Scania Beast, where are we? There she is. Um, we're going to take these cows in. So down into uh, Lincolnshire, so we'll get them, uh, get these guys loaded up and get gone. All right, I'll get set off on the Scania now. Well, unless you see something super interesting on the way, the next shot you might see is we're coming back into the yard. Um, Andy and my dad will get the mixers done and the strawing done and all that kind of business. And um, yeah, I'll get these took. It's wet in this part of the world. Very flat. It always goes above copper beers. So. Don't say that. Going back in the yard now, we can see the straw shed. Because the straw pile's gone right down. Looks like these guys have been getting some cattle out, I think. It must be dinner time now. 12.01. I'm ready for it, I know that much. Like we've had another load of Trafford Gold turn up. 
Just having my dinner now and um, Andy, it looks like he is just patting down the traffic gold in the background there. So that's the great thing about the nine meter, just the amount of reach that he's got. And just keep pushing it up and then he'll pat it down to trap the air in it. And it'll last a bit better outside then. What's that Andy? I've got a... Uh, I've got a parcel, have I? Excitement! Like you're saying Christmas every day here, Andy, isn't it? Hey? Eh? There we go. Pushing it up. Right, I'm gonna go and see what this parcel is. Oh, here we have it the parcel. Next day delivery. Oh, business. I know what this is, and I've been waiting a long time. I've really, really needed these. Um, I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting, so yeah, I'm really trying to, it's a struggle trying to get this open. Oh, here's the box, British Rubber Company, Trelly Bog, can anybody work out what it might be? Something that I have had a hole in for um, probably about two months now, and I've been waiting for these guys, so, well is, actually quite nice as well, Trelly Bog, Trelly Bog tread pattern on the bottom. Uh, British Rubber Company, which is um, based in, I think it's in North Yorkshire, so another Yorkshire company, business. Yeah, they look decent. So we've got a zip down there, a neoprene lined, look to have good grip, not tried them on yet. i got a size 11, um, I'm either a 10 or 11, I thought I don't want to be too small, so we'll uh, we'll try them on and, uh, and see how they fit. Find Andy um, so he can get a shot of me wearing them um but yeah I feel quite nice glad i went for the size 11 because um yeah they just fit right i think if i'd have gone for a size 10 they'd have been too small uh sandy's just tidying up down here so we'll have a look at what uh, what uh, they look like compared to andy's lash and balls yeah i'm in it andy andy cam um yeah i wish i had clean um stuff on to to, to, to show you these but anyway goes quite well with the uh with the swazi coat, although the rips maybe <laughs> destroys the quality. Yeah, let's have a look. Stand still, Joe. Oh. oh, they've even got a tread pattern there, look. Does it sound like it? Yeah. Progressive traction. Yeah, I think they're good. What's that? Trail bog. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> and it's like. Zooming in, zooming out. Like Mr. Professional Cameraman sorry, now. Sorry, Zoe. Sorry, sorry <laughs> no, it's good. I like it. I like it. Brilliant. So yeah, business, right? We'll give these a little trial, and then I'll uh, I'll tell you what they're like. Andy's trying his lachamos, but he's decided to go um, a different different style to everybody else. Like for in the summer, wasn't it? I don't know what I'm a bit cool that. <laughs> I've got my shorts on with a tan on my legs. You know? Yeah, that blue will soon, soon turn to like a muck colour. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Right, right. <laughs> As we've used the outside stack, now we've just got straw in the shed there. A few round different clamps that we've made. And um, this stack down here. But we have this pile of rubble in the way. So this is some nice, like, fine rubble. And I don't really want to just dump it into the bottom of there and lose it all. Um, but we need it out of the way to get the bales down. Although we can get some from here, can't we? Yeah, we can get there. We can get a fair bit still, I suppose. And then whether or not I move it to the other side. Yeah, I'll get all these out from here, and then we'll pull it back, and then get that out, and then we'll eventually we'll have enough space. Right, all right, I think me and Andy have had a little walk down here, a little judging, see what happens. I might start digging up just to make sure she's still working. She's not been started for a long time. Yeah, we'll give that a whirl. So, moment of truth, she hasn't been started for a few months. Oh, look at that, eh? Oh, what a fantastic piece of kit this digger is. No messing at all. All the cows out of this gap here. But this one cannot... Uh, Work out how to get out of the pen. Keeps running to this corner where Andy is. 
the sun's not helping us. We've just exited like 20 of his mates out of here. And they've all gone fine. And then this one is just 100% daft. Look, he'll turn, gone straight into the corner again. So we'll try and send him up this way. Andy can't help me because he's holding the other cows back. Come on. Come on, Dafty. That's it now. He's finally worked it out. Thank goodness for that. We needed them, that's what we needed. We needed that third person then. Yeah, Where are you? Come on, come back, Em. Get off your holiday. Nobody keeps asking about her. They do, don't they? Yeah. She's up in Scotland, as far as we know. We've not heard anything yet. We should presume she's still alive. <laughs> Andy, I've just tidied up the last of the bread. Um, he's now just going to be filling the mixture up and getting it mixed up. So I'm just going to turn the mixer off a second. Oh, and Andy's JCB. That, we can have complete silence for, oh, that sun's bright. Mixer mentions in support of the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Now, um, I think we're over 2,300 and some pounds now to Yorkshire Air Ambulance. It's absolutely fantastic just through you guys donating to get a little mention in the video. Now, today it is Andy of Andy's News at Goldthorpe, local, brilliant, 40, 40 years old. But it's where my mum gets uh, the papers from. So, um, yeah, congratulations on getting to 40, Andy. Uh, is it Life Begins at 40? I think it is, something like that. And then we've got Kev Haynes, who's also local, just down the road at Middlecliff. Um, he's 62 today. So, happy birthday to you both, and happy birthday to anybody else whose birthday is today. Um, yeah, I'll get the mix turned back on now. Andy will get back on his JCB, and we'll carry on with our day. But, yeah, thanks, guys. So Andy's just sweeping the yard round with the, uh, well it's not a sweeping brush actually, it's the yard scraper. I've just been washing the uh, lorry in my new boots, didn't even get water in my feet, fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to do windows now, and just get it finished off. Well Andy's making a decent job of this yard, got it all pulled up down there so we'll scoop that up in a minute and put it in the trailer. Actually forget helicopters, diggers are the business. Yeah, yeah, I like diggers. I'd have a new digger. The thing is, though, I don't really have use for one. I mean, I I barely have use for this one. It's just really handy to have. We probably should hire one when we need one and get a new machine and just have it for like a week or something and blast it all out. But it's not really how we work because we don't have just a week to do something. It's like an hour here, a couple of hours there. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been really, really handy. I'm pretty sure it's paid for itself now. Um, and is it going to lose any money? I think it's lost all its money that it's going to ever lose because it's old. But it does the job. And um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Like, it's probably my favourite machine on the farm. Out of all the tractors and everything, that's it. Because it's just, it's a digger, in it? It's beast. So I've just been sorting out some water issues, water pipe, water trough. All sorts of bits and bobs, but that's around the back of the farm here and it's lovely, isn't it? So Andy's just getting the bits and bobs tidied up now. Put in a trailer so we can go and get tipped on the muck hill. It's good, it's looking very clean in here. I mean, I wouldn't eat my dinner off it, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was. Farm clean. So on this Bailey trailer, we've got this issue of this is not, this is this should be square, so that should be lifted up more. And Andy's arms keep hitting the pipes. Does it even hit that? No. Mm. It, so we're just gonna try lifting it to bend that straight, and then eventually when we get a bit of time, we're gonna weld a piece in there to stop it falling back down. So we've took the strain. I'll try that, see what it'll be yes. A bit more. And he always wants he always wants that bit more. Do I need to push it? Is that enough? No, 
So that's better then, isn't it? Yeah, weren't they? Yeah. Should be more out of the way. I've seen on the newer bailers there is like a little, just a little piece put in there to stop that happening, I think. This is an old one. So we've just got a bit of farmer's friend, some baler band. We put that up there and then now nothing's in the way of the arms. Shouldn't get them caught in the pipes at all. That's what we like to see. Oh my God, what is it with you guys and trying to get your heads in here? <sighs> just this pen. You're an absolute nightmare. Right, nine meter time, let's get you out. I've never had as much trouble with cows getting their head stuck as I have had this last, I don't know, month or something. Like nothing's changed, just the cattle. So I think I've just got a bunch of idiots here. Definitely, 100%. Especially with me and Andy as well. So they've both got their heads out now and he's just come up to sniff me tines, so. No idea what is going on with these guys in this pen. I think what we'll do is we'll get a bit of muck out of that yard just in case that's the reason why they're getting their head stuck so many times. Like it's happened twice now in, in I think, about the space of a week. So, um, yeah, it's a real daft bunch of cattle. I mean, there was two in the space where one should go. Um, but yeah, there must be, you know, there must be something that we can do to uh, to just sort it a little bit. So I think mucking it out at the front there might just, uh, I just sort the job. He's took that load of muck and now he's got on the load of straw to fetch round. Muck goes out, straw comes in. It's a nice cycle. Mum and Dad's just up there feeding out with a TM and those guys fed. And he's just finishing off tipping the mix off. Just need a little bit more feed. 7530 and the silo king. Andy and my dad have been vaccinating some cattle earlier today when I was out in the lorry. So I'm just taking the laptop that we use to record all the medicines and movements and everything, bits and bobs like that. I'll take that back in the house where it's nice, warm and dry. So I'm just on doing a mix, grabbing um, silage out of the clam, maize silage. Oh, everything's just getting pulled in the shed now. Andy's on the TM. I'll put this away. Oh, everything's tied away into the shed. Safe and sound. That's about it from me and Andy today. Massive thanks to British Rubber Company for sending me the wellies. Thank you very much for that. Um, and if you are a new or an old subscriber, you know, if you're a subscriber, just let us know where you're coming from um, in the comments below. And also, if you check out joeseals.com, then one, you can get the merchandise and the hats and the, all that kind of business. But two, most importantly, for my geography um, interest. I did, geog I did geography, right? I love geography. I've got a little world map on there and it shows me where all the people come from. So it's quite nice to look at every now and then. I think it's in the about section or, um, I don't know, it's on one of the weird like tabs at the top. Anyway, um, enough about my geography. Um, thanks for thanks for thanks for watching. Press the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. I was tripping myself up a bit there, Andy, weren't I? Yeah. 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 It sort of happens. It happens quite a lot, actually. Anyway, bye. Andy has just been slipping around with his well he's on. Go on, show us your grips, Andy. We've just been showing each other as grips. Oh. Oh, here we go. Go on, start. Go on. All right now. <laughs> Yeah, right, come on then, Joe. Let's have a look. Come now. on, balance. Come on, you've got to hold it still because I can't hold the camera still. Look at that, look. It's like a tractor tyre. <laughs> the balancing king. Hi again, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.